Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Mr. Samoy Arakruto, thank you for this moment, for believing in the low-income earners group in the country and being the first president to throw a challenge to this group that everything is, pos if is possible in life. I'm, living, I'm a living testimony of the great belief, being a carpenter in the site for years and having worked closely with the developer for years. Your Excellency, sir, I was challenged by this developer at the beginning of my work here to own a house. I did not believe it could come true, but years down the line, today, I'm a proud owner of two bedroom house here. A wananchi like me is because of this affordable housing program. Mm -hmm. I visited this site. I like the space. I like the serene environment and the, and the affordability of the housing units. I was so impressed, Your Excellency. What did I do? I went to my circle where I have accumulated savings. My circle is called Ushuru Cooperative Circle. I took a loan. I was able to pay for a unit here. Actually, my house is just here, behind here. <laughs> so I'm your neighbor. <laughs> I want to encourage all Kenyans with aspirations of owning homes. It is possible. It is doable through these affordable housing projects. To King Serenity, thank you very much. My dream has come true. Dream of owning a home in Nairobi and the dream of speaking before your excellency, the president of the Republic of Kenya. Thank you so much. The affordable housing program, an initiative of the government to construct affordable houses has made my dream come true, as I said before. This will go a long way to help women like me to own and realize their dreams. For dreams, dreams for a decent and affordable housing. Your Excellency, a decent affordable house leads to an improvement in both physical and mental health. Going forward, I believe I'm going to focus on other needs. The beauty about affordable, affordable housing is that of transforming lives and economic development. I wish to thank your, your government, Your Excellency, for supporting developers like King's uh, developers, for putting up such magnific magnificent houses. Aren't they beautiful? They are. They are. <laughs> thank you, Your Excellency. God bless you, and God bless Kenya. Thank you. We really feel honored that uh, indeed now we have a president who, whose agenda, number one, is actual housing. You know, before Excellency, we talked about the big four, and still we have the big four. But I think uh, housing now, from what I'm seeing, clearly is agenda number one. And for good reasons, Excellency, because without shelter, we don't have life. It's actually a basic need. As a former banker, and there are so many bankers here, you brought what you call supply and demand together. Supply, we have all these developers, all these units coming up across the country. But without the demand, that supply will be useless. Excellency, you made sure that as you support developers, you have not left the people, the consumers, who you take over those housing units. That's why today we have these testimonials. People saying, yes, we have these units here, but they are takers as well. Excellency, balancing supply and demand is not easy because that's why you require the financing sector and you have brought sanity in terms of the pricing of mortgages. I know you are very passionate about the pricing of mortgages because there's no point of doing 720 units here if the people who won't need those houses can't afford them. And I know you've always asked us, me and P.S. Hinga, 
that we must make sure that the pricing is accurate, is affordable. You have a vision, and that vision is what you bring us to the next level. By bringing private developers and individual homeowners together, like you've done today, this is what you give proper energy to this agenda for housing. You brought dignity to the people because looking around these houses, there's access in terms of all these uh, cabros. We have seen electricity, we have seen water. So in terms of the government making sure that there's a number of facilitators to make sure that people here can live in dignity, Your Excellency, it is your vision which has brought us this far. And so, Excellency, let me thank you once again and say that indeed there is high prospects going forward and that your leadership, we believe Kenya will go miles ahead. And we are fine-tuning something that we'll share soon with you. We are calling an eco manyata that for something less than 300, 400,000 Kenyans in the rural areas will also be able to own three-bedroom homes. So that we have a country that nobody is left behind, we are developing together as a nation and carrying everybody along. And so I commit that um, my government will uh, cooperate where we have open spaces to provide the land, where we are required to do our bit, we will do our bit, because the task of nation building is not just yours alone, but for all of us, not only as leaders, but as experts like the family behind us and other players, and all many other Kenyans like the testimonies we have heard of um, uh, the gentleman and the lady who spoke of their dream having come true today. And so, Your Excellency, once more, congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> that is what these people expect of us. Kufika hapa kajiado baada ya uchaguzi Wacha nchukwe na pasi hii Vile gabana wenu alivyo sema Ni washukuru sana Watu wa ungata rongai Na watu wa kajiado Kwa kura zenu Mimi nasema sante sana Narudia kusema asante sana Asante sana kwa kutupatia na pasi ya uongozi Na mimi nataka ni wakikishie Ya kwamba Mimi niko tayari kufanya kazi na viongozi wenu wote. Wale walio chaguliwa pande zote nafasi ya kushindana tumemaliza. Sasa nafasi tuko nayo ni kuungana tuwafanyie kazi hawa wananchi walio chaguliwa. <coughs> and I want to commit to uh, the people of Gajado County that uh, I will work with all the elected leaders in this county for the benefit of the programs that we have, for the benefit of the people of Kajiado, as we do for the people of Kenya. Kenya. kwamba tunawapenda sana, tunawatakia heri. And we are going to work together in that manner. Now all the other leaders, eh, Naona ole meja yuko hapa, naona hawa viongozi wengine wote. Uh, I am open, we, we need to work together for the benefit of the great people of Kajiado and our great nation of Kenya. Uh, nataka ni mwambia rafiki yangu ulengu, uh, sisi tutakufanya kazi pamoja my friend. Mimi, <laughs> na hawa viongozi wengine wote, tutafanya kazi pamoja. Si mambo ya uchaguzi imeisha? Eh? Mambo ya uchaguzi imeisha, sasa tufunge hiyo kurasa. Sasa tupange mambo ya wananchi ya kwenda mbele. And uh, we are going to work together in that manner. Na all the other leaders. Eh, naona eh, ngedianya yuko hapa. Naona ole meja yuko hapa. Naona hawa viongozi wengine wote. Eh, I am open. We, we need to work together. 
for the benefit of the great people of Kajiado and our great nation of Kenya. Mambo ya housing ni mambo ya muhimu sana katika awamu hii ya serikali ya Kenya. Na ni muhimu not by default, not by accident, but by design. Tuko na makusudi ya mambo ya mpango ya housing kwa sababu ya mambo manne. Ya kwanza ni kwa sababu housing inatupatia nafasi ya kila mkenya kuwa na nyumba mahali pazuri pa kuishi. Jambo la pili inatupatia nafasi ya ajira. Mumesikia hapa tumekuwa na carpenters, tumekuwa na plumbers, tumekuwa na engineers, tumekuwa na waseremala na wale wengine wote. Inatupatia nafasi ya kuajiri wa Kenya wengi katika sehemu hii. Na jambo la tatu vile vile inatupatia nafasi ya kuondoa changamoto katika sehemu zetu za kilimo ili tusi, tuanze ile program ya land consolidation watu waweze tuweze kupata nafasi ya eh, kilimo ili tusitumie sehemu zetu za kilimo na kuzalisha chakula kama sehemu ya makao the whole project of um, uh, ensuring that we do not engage land men for food production for human settlement is the way forward in our economy and therefore the whole program ya mambo ya housing is because we want to make sure that we use the resources we have well and we make sure that we develop those resources in a manner that benefits all the citizens of Kenya. Affordable housing. Inawezesha mtu seremala kama huyu bwana Ocheng. Awe ni mwenye nyumba hapa Nairobi. Pale nyuma watu wenye walikuwa wanaweza kununua nyumba ni mtu wako na kazi kubwa, ni mtu anafanya kwa bank, mtu anafanya KRA, mtu anafanya kwa wizara ndio walikuwa wananunua nyumba. Sasa tunataka iwezekane na mimi nataka ni wahakikishie wale mahasla wa seremala wale mafundi ya eh, kule kijijini watu ya boda boda na hata ule anauza mboga atapata nafasi ya kununua nyumba na tutahakikisha ya kwamba iko nyumba inatoshana na kila mkenya ndio sababu tumesema tutakuwa na viwango tofauti mbalimbali mbali. tutakuwa na social housing tutakuwa na rent to, uh, to own housing tutakuwa na affordable housing na tutakuwa na manyumba zile zingine ambazo wa Kenya wengine wanaweza pia kununua the program here is so that we leave no kenyan behind nimekuja hapa makusudi vile vile ili ndugu zetu wa kings developers wajue ya kwamba hata kama hii project ni private kati yao na wale walipatiana ardhi hii serikali ya Kenya itasimama na wao kuwatafutia wale watakaoishi katika hizi nyumba kwa sababu iko katika ile kiwango ambayo wa Kenya wengi wanaweza kufikia and i want to encourage other developers and other land owners that this project of affordable housing is not just a project of the government of Kenya it is a combined project it is a project that we want the private sector we want private land owners to come on board to provide units that are in the category of uh, affordable housing and we are going to support them using our bomayangu platform to ensure that you have uh, buyers of those units and we are going to arrange mortgage so that those houses you are building have buyers so other developers wale wa Kenya wengine wako na ardhi private sector developers wengine ambao wako na uwezo tunataka tushirikiane yale mambo tunataka ni mambo mawili tunataka nyumba ijengwe yenye iko na gharama ya chini ndio tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba wa, wa Kenya wa kila eh, kiwango wanaweza kupata mahali pa kuishi tunataka to standardize 
ile products ambazo tunatumia katika mijengo hii ndio tuweze kupunguza gharama ya ujenzi wa hizi manyumba to standardize milango to standardize madirisha to standardize all the other products i think the ministry tells me we have 69 products that will be standardized in an effort to bring down the cost of construction so that more kenyans can be home owners nini mnanielewa so tunataka tushirikiane hivyo na kwa hivyo mimi nimekuja hapa just to confirm to private land owners to private developers that the government of Kenya is willing and available to work with you as so long as you are in the affordable housing realm we are going to work with you on matters to do with mortgage in mobilizing Kenyans to own the homes you are building because we want this program to be a joint program between the public and the private sector because that's the surest way of us succeeding jambo la pili tuko na locals housing na social housing ambazo tutajenga tukishirikiana na county governments na tukitumia ardhi ambazo ni za serikali ya kitaifa in those programs we will include the social housing we will have the low, uh, affordable housing and we'll have the other categories and we are also going to work with the private sector developers nataka private se sector developers wajue ya kwamba we are now developing uh, the program in full steam we are uh, arranging the finances for purposes of mortgage i have had meetings with our pension uh, um, uh, uh, pension institutions so that they can contribute the long term financing for mortgage for home owners i am also going to work with parliament so that parliament can pass uh, a mandatory housing uh, fund again to assist us in building the resources for long term lending to both the developers and to the home owners through mortgage so he program tumekubaliana kila mwaka tutajenga nyumba 1200 na kati ya hizo nyumba 1200 kila mwaka nusu ya hizo nyumba zitakuwa kategori ya affordable housing na social housing ndio wa Kenya wengi ambao wamewachwa nyuma kwa muda mrefu waweze kuwa home owners katika miji yetu na katika sehemu zote za taifa letu la Kenya nataka ni waulize magavana ndugu yangu Joseph Lengu hapa na wale wengine wote sisi tuko tayari kushirikiana na nyinyi mtupatie ardhi ya county tutawasaidia kuweka infrastructure ya barabara kuweka stima kuweka maji kutengeneza sewage alafu vile vile tuwatafutie private developers ambazo watajenga na baadaye tutawapangia mortgage ambayo itasaidia watu katika kila sehemu ya Kenya waweze kupata makao ya kutosha na katika hiyo mpango tuweze pia kuwa na nafasi ya ajira ya vijana wetu wengi na vile vile tuhakikisha kwamba Kenya hii hakuna wa Kenya wanaoachwa nyuma so i am calling on county governments across the country in the 200,000 houses we want to build every year we are willing to work with every county so that we start with at least 5,000 housing units in every county as we go forward so that we can develop our nation equally there are counties kuna counties ambazo tayari wako na changamoto ya mambo ya ardhi ardhi ya kilimo ardhi ya ufugaji na tunataka kuwasaidia kwa kuhakikisha kwamba we are providing infrastructure ya kusaidia uh, wao uh, ili kusiwe na conflict ya mambo ya settlement na mambo ya matumizi ya ardhi kwa kilimo kwa ufugaji na kuzalisha chakula na mimi nimefurahi sana kuwa hapa nimesikia testimony ya bwana Oche ambaye amekuwa seremala hapa akipanga panga na mbao na randa lakini leo yeye ni ona katika eh Mumesikia pia testimony ya Emily P 
pia yeye ni member wa SACO and that is why nimesema ya kwamba we are going to improve on our savings culture tuko na matatizo kidogo lakini tutatatua tayari nimeita wale wote ambao wanahusika na makesi yuko kotini tuweze kutoa hiyo makesi kotini ili tuhakikishe ya kwamba kila mkenya anapata nafasi ya kuweka pesa katika akiba waweze kutumia saa ile mambo imeenda kombo na pia waweze kutumia katika eh, mambo ya retirement na vile vile wanaweza kutumia hiyo pesa vile mama Emily ametumia kuweka deposit kwa mahali anaweza kupata nyumba katika hii mpango yetu ya locals housing we must improve our access to credit watu wengi hapa wako kwa fuliza si ni kweli tayari nimeshughulika nime na wale watu wa fuliza na tumekubaliana wamepunguza by 50% ile 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 interest wanalipisha hiyo ni hatua ya kwanza na tumekubaliana tutabadilisha ile mambo ya eh, wale ambao wako na matatizo ya kulipa hatutakuwa tena na ile mpango ya ku blacklist watu tutakuwa na mpango mwingine inaitwa credit scoring ili kama wewe umeshindwa kulipa si hakuna haja ya kuzima simu yako <laughs> ile ile itatokea ni sasa utakuwa unakopa pesa kidogo vile kuliko ile ulikuwa unakopa pesa pole pole alafu tunakuhabilitate pole pole mpaka kila mtu apate credit score yake si ndio kwa sababu kuwa na deni si makosa hata Kenya si tuko na deni sasa wananchi akiwa na deni kama makosa gani <laughs> So tumekubaliana vile kuna credit rating hata ya kitaifa pia tukuwe na credit rating ya mwananchi. Si ndio? Mtu akijulikana hawezi kulipa asipatiwe elfu kumi apatiwe elfu tano. Ngangane hapo kwanza alipe alafu anaongezewa kidogo kidogo na maana hiyo so tunapangana kwa njia hiyo. Vile vile niliwaahidi ya kwamba tutalete E, pesa kwa wale wafanyabiashara ambao wana hustle kule chini na tutahakikisha ya kwamba wale mnaangaishwa na Mashailok Mashailok tutafunga biashara yao kwa sababu tutawaletea pesa ambayo itakuwa na riba ya chini si ndio kuna watu wanalipa 10% per week 10% per month si ni kweli so hiyo maneno nimesema tarehe moja Disemba tunaanzisha hasla fund ambayo itahakikisha kila mkenya anapata mkopo kwa riba ya chini katika hiyo mpango hiyo mpango ya hasla fund utapata pesa kwa riba ya chini lakini pia tutakusaidia kwa savings saa ile unafanya biashara yako tunahakikisha pesa kidogo inaenda hapo kando ya kupanga mambo ya siku inayokuja ya kesho na kesho kutua na siku hiyo ingine we are saying it is going to be a savings led credit uh, uh, program utapata pesa ya kufanya biashara lakini vile vile utakuwa na nafasi ya ku save pesa for a rainy day when you need it mambo ikikwama kidogo unaweza kuchukua hiyo pesa ukajisaidia ile ingine itabaki ukifika hapo mbele kama uweze kufanya hiyo kazi uko na pesa ya ku, ya kujipanga najua ya kwamba hapa Rongai tuko na shida mbili tuko na shida ya maji we don't have enough water in Ongata Rongai in uh, Kiserian and in uh, Unga, uh, in Gong na pili hatuna sewage katika town hizi mimi nimewaeleza ya kwamba munipatie nafasi kidogo in the next uh, mambo ya maji kuna mahali imekwama kidogo i'm going to sort it out so that in the next 3 to 4 months tutakuwa na maji ya kutosha hapa Mambo ya sewage nitaanza kupanga na some of our development partners ndio tuweze kufa, kup, eh, kupata sewage system ya hapa Ongata Rongai. Tunakubaliana? So tutashirikiana na county government ya Kajiado so that we work together for the benefit of the people of these cities na yale mambo mengine mna, mnajua. Jambo la mwisho ni mambo ya msongamano wa magari. 
we have a huge problem of jam out of Ngatarongai and into Ngatarongai. Si kweli? So, tuko na mpango miwili, whichever will come first, ya kufanya dual carriage, na bile bile kuweka right, light rail. Ili munaweza kuwa na rail hapa ya kuenda Nairobi na kuruti. So, tuta, tunapanga hiyo maneno, na tutauliza na hapa mbele kidogo. Sindio? Mutani patia tu nafasi kidogo, unajua sasa, mambo kidogo ilikuwa imekwama. Sasa, <laughs> kulikuwa na TV mtiala la mingi. <laughs> kutakoja kidogo nipange mambo ndio lakini sisi tachelewa napanga paka vizuri ndio tuweze kutembea na kutengeneza Kenya ambayo sisi wote tutajivunia kuwa wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya this has brought home the need to harmonize the geopolitical spirit of cooperation with the geostrategic spirit of competition in the exercise of the national defense mandate KDF guarantees the security of a peaceful, prosperous, and sovereign nation. Your professionalism is in this evolving threat environment continues to signal to our regional and international allies that Kenya is a strong and dependable partner on matters pertaining to peace, security, and stability. This responsibility is grounded on the understanding that our stability is inextricably intertwined with the state of security in our region in the context of prevailing global undercurrents. I therefore wish you fruitful deliberations around this theme that will deliver a conference and a unity of action in addressing the state of national defense and the needs of national security in the 21st century, and more specifically, on the implications of rapid technological evolution on military capabilities. As an anchor state in the domains of democracy, social, um, socioeconomic, and technological progress, we must continue to reinforce our posture of collaboration and goodwill. In equal measure, we must demonstrate resolve to secure our national interest and to prevail over all our adversaries, be they foreign or domestic. The ideal defense force for the 21st century is dynamic, effective, and responsible for contemporary threats. As the character of our war changes, a force that is highly adaptable yet capable of robust action is most desirable. Existential transboundary threats, violent intra and interstate conflict, climate change, and pandemics continue to disrupt and challenge the way we operate producing emergent opportunities and existing pressure on military capabilities. This automatically means the 21st century commander is a different creature, fluent not just in military strategy, but also tech-savvy, nimble, and adaptable. 